So this is my Black Galaxy Tiger Shrimp tank and today I'm gonna clean this underground filter box. I have some waste at the bottom of it and it also starts to make the water a bit cloudy and dusty. So I want to suck this dust from with this tube and I also want to clean this sponge filter as well at the same time. So let's open this up. Let's hope the shrimps will not go there inside. Please don't go inside. So now I'm gonna siphon this water out from this box and you're gonna see and how dirty it's gonna be. So what else I need to do is I need to blow the water back into the filter. So this way that this creates some mess inside and mix the, 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 this, the waste in, uh, with the water and then I need to siphon it again, you know. So let's try to do it. You see, I blow it and it starts to be dirty again. So you, you have to do it until it is completely clear. You will not be able to take out everything, but at least part of it. Yes, dirt coming out. So how to find out when you need to clean this filter is simply when you see the water becoming not clear, so becoming muddy, and your sponge filter start to clog very, very fast. So then you know that there's a lot of dust, a lot of waste coming out from the filter and this is the time when you need to suck it out yeah unfortunately you cannot do you cannot clean it completely only in the in the area of your tubing let me guys show you quickly how much waste we managed to clean you can see it's Quite, quite decent amount. I would say one quarter of the filter, we clean it up. Let me show you another one here as well. You can see it's not as much as, you see at the front, we couldn't do it at the front. It's not inside the stream, it's not inside, no, it's outside. So you can see we couldn't do it on the front. We only managed to do it just at the back and not all, all the way. Um, there because the, the, the tubing is on the corner so we can only manage to clean about one quarter of the filter. So this is how you do it and I don't think you manage to do any more than that unless you can find out like some other method. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Maybe to take it out and clean it somehow but I don't want to do it. It's, it's a bit messy. Here is my blue bolts tank where I keep my blue bolts and blue steel shrimp. And today I'm planning to do water change. As you can see, I have uh, really algae on the glass and it's been more than a week. And I want to change my filter sponges here because the filter sponges here are quite coarse. So the pores are quite big and they not clean the water as well as the other sponge filter. Like for example, here in this tank, where I have very fine pores here and uh, the water is quite clean here, but not, not in this tank. And I also want to clean this UGF filter. I try to show you here is in the bottom of the filter I have some uh, waste. And the problem is that this tank is sitting on the floor level. You can see that's the floor already here. And to siphon this waste out from this filter is quite tricky. Yeah, that's why I'm going to try to use water dispenser for this. Maybe it works. Maybe not. We're going to find it out in a second. Okay, this is my water dispenser. I'm, I'm planning to put this tube inside the UGF and try to suck it out with this because there is no other other option. And uh, I cannot siphon it out because this tank sitting on the floor, yeah. Let's remove that thing at the top of the filter. Okay, guys, let's suck this waste out from the filter with this water dispenser. Oh yeah, guys, look at this water color. Oh yeah, like this, yeah, oh yeah, look at this color, very black, yeah, you just need to move it up and down, up and down, yes, yeah, let me show you this water, you see that, how much mud we got out from this filter, the problem is that I cannot bend this, uh, this tube, yeah, 
So this tube is just only sucking the the, the waste at, at the area where the where the uplifting tube, and it's not sucking anywhere else. I don't know how to make it bend and just go around somewhere. No, cannot do it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you can you can bend, you can bend now. I can feel it. Oh, look at this water. Yes, that's it. The problem is that this tube only sucking the dirt in the area where it's located. So you have to suck it from that area, and then you have to relocate it somehow. But it's difficult. You cannot see anything. So you you, you just push it, and and you don't know where is it. Yeah, you see, it's only 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 black water for one second, and then it's clear water again. I suck the waste everywhere around this area where the uplifting tube. So I don't think I can do more than that. Yeah, I don't think I can do more than that. That sh that should be okay. I quickly show you how it's look now. Yeah, you can see I managed to to suck the dirt from the corner. So basically, I I suck out the the waste. Uh, just in just a couple inches away from the back in this area all the way from this point to to the end and there's still some waste in this area but it, it's better than nothing now it's for a couple of weeks it's not going to be uh, make the water dirty uh, I hope and I'm gonna change the sponges it's gonna help a lot as well <laughs> A big mess in the tank now. <laughs> Shrimps are very excited. They think what's going on, you know. <laughs> okay, we just clean the filters and I change the water as well. So I clean the filters today in the blue ball tank here. Black Galaxy Tiger tank here as well. You see the water a little bit cloudy. Should be more clear tomorrow. On a few hours. And I also clean clean the filter here in the red galaxy shrimp tank here yeah, shrimp's quite happy i also need to separate some red balls and red steel shrimps from from this tank so the only thing left is just to add the bacterial powder i always do that after a water change once a week this is only powder food i i dose it's not the food but it's food for bacteria just sprinkle it over the surface let's add it into like galaxy tiger shrimp as well so this amount just sprinkle on top like this and this bacterial powder is basically feeding your algae and biofilm so in this you see that biofilm growing and algae growing on the glass and that helps the shrimps to thrive because they like to eat that tasty algae on the glass yeah so the only shrimp tank left is our red galaxy shrimp tank. Let's put something here as well. Yeah. Oh, it's difficult with one hand. Yeah. Here you go. Shrimp is going to be happy now. They're very excited. When I give some bacterial powder, they're very excited. Let me show you a few shrimps here. Here you go. Don't fight guys, don't fight. You have enough food for everybody. Some blue balls here as well on this tank need to take them out. It's still small, it's still okay. Before they get to the adult age, I need to take them out. So no rush now. Yeah, now it's going to become more cloudy after bacterial powder. That's my favorite shrimp. So happy about the shrimp. I think this is the galaxy shrimp. This in front. I have to take it out, put it in the galaxy shrimp tank. I'm sure it's not the galaxy tiger shrimp. So the galaxy tiger shrimp can make some galaxy shrimp as well. Sometime I guess. They all came like the, from the same crossbreeding thing I think. 
maybe not. Just let me know if you know about this. I don't know. I never, never, never make them before. So the blue balls. With some galaxy shrimps as well here. Some babies of blue balls because they hybrids. Yeah. So they excited with the bacterial powder. Nice. Very happy with this tank as well. So now once I change the sponges on the filter and clean and clean underground filter box, I guess now it's water gonna be crystal clear now here. And we will see tomorrow. I'm sure it's gonna be crystal clear tomorrow. Sorry it was a bit mess today in your tank. I hope it's not gonna make you stress. Yeah they they'll be alright. Took some time for me to clean three filters today. So it's, I feel a little bit tired, really. So it's not an easy task. I still need to clean a few more. Unfortunately, they have to be cleaned and it's not an easy job to do that. If you know any other way to do that, let me know in the comments. It would be good to know and you can help other people. It's all about the, the sharing experience with each other. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.